Hey, good afternoon, guys. Don here with Pro Performance Pressure Washing. Been in the business since uh, 1996. <laughs> Cleaning roofs, commercial, all types of property. Well, since COVID, we've run into a bunch of issues lately with Sherman Williams, and Sherman Williams denies their organic paint. In the past couple years since COVID, we've run into this maybe three or four times, maybe a handful more. But today, <clears throat> what we got going on here at this bank for Fifth Third customer, we've been a vendor for for many years had this bank painted through a third party and obviously as you can see the uh, bank turned colors due to the uh, organic paint they deny it saying that no it's not us it's something in your your product well yeah it's organic <clears throat> the chlorine's organic removes organic material this is what you run into that's just from the wind blowing. Removing, you know, the, the, the color there. This is what we got. No matter what it touches, where it goes, it's gonna turn colors. Sad, but it's true. You got your keyboard warriors out there that ask a million questions, which is good. I haven't seen any really videos on this. I don't even like posting stuff like this, but I feel it's important that at least everyone knows where they stay off these pressure washing forums, whining and crying and boohooing. You know, what do I do? What do I do? Well, <clears throat> there's nothing that you can do. There's no F9. There's no this. There's no that. You're basically going to eat the cost or you're going to make sure your contract is so strong that you're not responsible for anything that happens. And Sherman Williams is obviously just going to go ahead and lie <clears throat> and tell you stories that there's no such thing as organic paint. Well, there is. And there's nothing you can do about it except walk away from the job. I've learned in 30 years of being in business that I pick my battles, and this is one of them that we don't care to fight anymore. It just happens, guys. Not complaining, not griping, just trying to give you out some information that the customer's gonna call you when you get home and you're gonna say, Well, it wasn't like that when I left. Well, guess what, guys? It is like that now. And that's gonna be the problem. There's just no way getting around it. It just doesn't matter. I mean, I didn't even wash nothing down here. It's just from the wind blowing. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter if you run 100% chlorine, surfactant, whatever you wanna call it, it don't matter. It all boils down into a nutshell that it could be a thousand to one duration diluted and it's still gonna turn colors. Organic paint is organic. Chlorine, cyprohodium chloride, whatever you wanna call it, is or removed organic material. Well, that's gonna be your outcome. Organic paint <clears throat> is gonna remove the color. Each house may vary. So, guys, I hate to be the one that shared the bad news or sound like a jerk, but this is where we're at. Just is what it is, guys. So, ask your Sherman Williams dealer. Check with your homeowner. Make sure your homeowner's aware that it's possible that the color could come apart and turn colors. Each house will turn a different color. But at the end of the day, this is gonna be your end result no matter if you water, wet, neutralizer, whatever you got, that's what's gonna happen. So, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, this wasn't a gripe video. This is just a basically let you know video that it does happen and it's gonna happen. And there's no getting around it, guys. Thank you and enjoy.